Right, fuckers, welcome back to the Football Manager 2017 Old Form Revival Series. Like I said, at the end of the season, I was going to do a team refuse, first with Celtic and then secondly with Rangers. So, don't quite know, this might not be a long video, we're just going to go over basically the Celtic team and give a quick season review. And then we'll do the same with Rangers in the next episode. So here we go, fans player of the season was Effie Ambrose winning a massive 55% of the foot. Uh, that is crazy, I mean, th this was a guy at the start of the year, he, he had no future really left at Celtic, I didn't plan to use him, I was, as soon as I could get a half decent offer, I was looking to off him, but I think we got a few injuries, F. Ambrose came in, he was fucking amazing, and he basically became a first team player for us again, uh, starting 11. Now, I mean, going into next season, well, I don't want to keep him around, but he is getting older, and I think we have to try and focus on guys like, um... Sivachenko and Sumifich, so obviously I think Ambrose and Cole Turi will kind of be playing back up to those guys, but when it was the form Effie Ambrose is on, it's kind of it's it's difficult to leave him out, like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I've, the way I see it, I've got four solid centre-backs for next season. I think I'm getting Boyata back on loan, but anyway, that's next season. This season, he was our uh, Fans Player of the Year. Scott Brown coming in second, and Kian Tierney coming in third goal this season was Musa Dembele won against Hamilton. Signing of the season with James McLean, from what I can recall, he was only signing a maid, £5 million, and he was pretty poor, like, so, uh, definitely he might be someone who actually leaves in the summer here. Young player of the season, uh, season was Kieran Tierney, and obviously the team of the season, basically my strongest 11, part for Abui, really, I think, who was sold to Barcelona in January, so my team of the season... According, oh for fuck's sake, I've lost it here. According to the fans, it's Craig Gordon and Nets, Kieran Tierney, Toure, Ambrose, Lustig, the back four, a buoy just in front of them, Scott Brown in the middle, they have attacking three of Sinclair, Armstrong and Roberts, and then Dembele up front. I'd probably, I agree with that, apart from maybe a buoy. I think maybe have a Roderick in there, or, or Benton, but it is what it is, guys. So there you go. There is the, uh, the fans. The Dembele getting the top goal scorer, 34 goals, fucking hell, amazing from him, definitely want to keep him, I would not be surprised if there's a few clubs coming in from, but he is going absolutely nowhere, Effie Ambrose, 7.62, highest rating of the year, most assists, Stuart Armstrong, 20 assists, great from him, best pass completion, near bitten, 87, most player of the match awards, Effie Ambrose, again, this guy was just amazing, 10 player of the match awards, and uh, Look at that, look at the fucking cards, no surprise there, most yellow, Scott Brown, 18, that's fucking, that's a mental amount, like, and uh, most red cards also Scott Brown, so, that wee prick better fucking watch it, man, because, I mean, we need, we need players, fucking, because I can't have them getting people sent off, eh, what's this, a few Celtic records, oh, this is just basic, don't really want to see any of that shit just yet, season review, so, we expect it to win the league, and we did. Uh, European Cup, knocked out in the group stage, uh, I think we had a successful European, I mean, we had a tough group, we were never going to go through, I was disappointed not to get third, but all in all, I mean, to get there, we just dismantled everybody, our form was great, and I think we're unlucky, and on another day, without Craig Gordon getting injured, we may have, we may have got through, but we did not, Ladbrokes Premier League, we finished first, which was great, we won the Betfred Cup, Scottish Cup, we lost in the fifth round, Disappointing, but it happens. Rangers also lost to Morton. Hopefully next season we can, uh, you know, do better in the Scottish Cup. League position, um, you see, uh, once we got, we had a slow start, a couple of draws, but once we got to the top of the league, we never surrendered the top position, which is fucking great. So we're very impressive. Match this season was a 2-0 win against Aberdeen away from home, and the moment to forget, obviously, our only home defeat of the season at 3-1 defeat against Motherwell, very poor. Average attendance is 48,297. It's only 79% full, I would have kind of liked a bit more than that, but I don't know, maybe next season uh, if there's a stronger challenge in the league from Rangers and Aberdeen, then perhaps we'll, uh, you know, we'll get that. And total players used was 26, that was the third highest in the Ladbrook Premier season. Um, End of season conference with you. We'd uh, to summarize the board are very pleased. Fans are happiness. 3 1. Yep. But biggest disappointment was teams poor showing in the Scottish Cup. And I am. Um, yep. I cannot deny that. We were pretty poor in the Scottish Cup. And hopefully, uh, like I say, is next season we'll try and do better. Here's the squad. Now, what do I want to look at? 
we'll look at a pe- who made the most appearances. Most appearances was Scott Sinclair, forty eight. Looking crazy, so he was he was great for us. Uh, with short Armstrong betting both on forty four. So a lot of appearances made. You can see the last fi- uh, last five games. Mr. Dembele ended it on a strong there. Goal. So um, it was Dembele, 34, Sinclair, 24, Lee Griffiths, 13. That was the top three. So basically, our goals were coming from, you know what I mean? All our goals were coming from these guys. Lee Griffiths, he would have been, he would have scored a lot more, but toward the second half of the season, Dembele was playing that well. That we just, at the start of the season, it was kind of, you know, switching between Dembele and Griffiths, but. Dembele's form just got that good that I had to put him in the starting role more or less every game and Lee Griffiths kind of missed it because of that but maybe next season I could try and fit a formation that we can play both of them up front and that might be something to look look at, who knows. Uh, assists, they go obviously short Armstrong with 20, Patrick Roberts with 16, average rating, was F.A. Ambrose, Keon Tierney not far behind. Um, yeah, fuck <laughs> Under-20s, do we really need to see the under-20s? I'm not quite sure. Probably nothing. 32 go. This uh, PJ Crossing guy, I mean, he is going to be a great player. He's only valued at 56k at the moment. Um, But yeah, he is going to be good. No caps yet. He has capped the under-19 level, though. Which is something. Uh, Tactics, don't really need to go into any of this, I don't think. Um, schedule, we're not going to have a schedule just yet, so um, I'm trying to think of what else I could show you guys, you know, for this uh, season review, but I don't quite know, player stats, is this what I'm looking for, yeah, so here we go, um, best at hitting the target was Callum Roberts, Sam Furness, we beat the top goal scorer in the league, with the most assists in the league for Stuart Armstrong, most dribbles in the match, 4.5 for Keon Tierney, so, um, look at the average ratings with the four best players with average ratings. Ambrose, Dembele, Tierney and Armstrong. Player of the match with uh, Ambrose, obviously 7, Tierney 5, yellow cards. So, yellow cards and red cards, you don't necessarily want to be top of these, but obviously we were in here joint second with Rob Kearn with uh, Scott Brown. And you can see goals, Dembele and Sinclair blasting their way to the top. So, um... What else do we need to look at here? Player detailed, what's this? Pish. And in terms of uh, team overviews, we would obviously the highest scoring Scottish team of the season. 81 goals in 38 matches, which is uh, very, very impressive. Nine corner goals. Nine goals for corners, not bad. Most uh, crosses complete, 12%. 12% doesn't seem that impressive, but I suppose it was better than the rest of the league, so that is something to look at. Best of hitting the target, we were probably second behind Rangers. Well, actually, we were joint with Rangers, but we had mere shots, so obviously, I think that's what it boils down to. So they're, they're kind of put ahead there on default. Headers completed, we're down in seventh, so maybe we need to work on that. Pass it, oh fuck, I've hit Dundee. Fuck. Passes completed, we were fourth, eh, not bad, 77, 75%. I thought it might have been a bit better though, to be fair. Average possession. Down in 8th, that's just surprised me. It's 49.5%. I thought it would have been better than that. I thought we had the most possession in the league, but obviously not. Most fouls made. That went to Rangers. Again, I don't think that's something you necessarily want. We got 79 yellow cards for Rangers. Shocking. Most tackles won, that went to Hearts. Uh, most clean sheets, 19, that went to us. And at least conceded that also went to us. Aberdeen, no. Had a very solid defence, they only one goal behind us. So I think to end it off, we'll have a look at the transfer history for this season. And uh, there you go, there are the players that we brought in. James McLean, Tony Gallagher and Scott Bain. Um, <laughs> the thing with Tony Gallagher is funny. I actually wanted to sign him with Rangers. I was about to, but then uh, the some... Fucking some is it the under twenty manager actually went in and bought him without really consulting me. So, so yeah, it was uh, kind of strange. Didn't really want. I wanted him with Rangers, not Celtic. Ended up getting with Celtic. I mean, we'll take him, but I didn't necessarily want the guy. But it looks like he's going to turn out to be a good player. So hey, don't think he probably will be loan the again next season. Don't think he'll be in our squad, but 
No point keeping him if we can't give him game time, but could be a great player in the future. Scott Bain cost us 800k. He's not really, he's not really delivered. I mean, but who knows? His stats are good. I mean, if Craig Gordon gets injured, I believe he is definitely good enough to come in and, uh, you know, fill the position. But maybe a goalkeeper, maybe not for next season, but maybe the year after or down the line, we will need to look at bringing in a keeper. And James McLean cost us uh, like five million. He's not been that great. His value's went down to four. He is a player that I think we would like... To, let's be honest, we've got Sinclair, and he's not going to be ever starting in front of Sinclair. You know, he's never going to be better than Sinclair, I don't think so. Maybe we'll try and look to get rid of him. I don't quite know. And uh, there's obviously the transfers we let go. Most of them were just um, loanies. Obviously, we sold Ebue to Barcelona for 3.1 million. Logan Bailey to Kievo, 300. Doris de Vries went for free and everyone else was just loan so uh, those players will all be coming back and we'll try and fit them into this team for next season. But yeah guys basically look, this could be the end of this uh, Celtic mini season review but why don't you to let me know while we're on the transfers who do you think we should bring in next season let me know if there's anyone in particular you want me to sign and uh, I'll do my best to try and bring them in. So uh, I've got a few players in mind don't know I don't know how big a transfer budget is going to be but you know, I mean, we've got the best team in the league, and I think if we're making any signings, it's not to... I think it's more signings so we can compete in Europe, rather than, you know, improving the league. So perhaps we might just spend our money on one big budget player. That's what I'm thinking, but who knows? Let me know what you guys think, and that's going to do it for this episode. Anyway, guys, till next time, this has been uh, the Old Firm Revival, episode 22, Celtic Season Review. Until next time, peace.